Everybody, it's BB. I'm doing an intro to let you know that I'm going to be doing videos on how to do your own nails with gel, dips, poly gel extensions, acrylic nails, um, different little designs on your nails. Now, you guys know I'm not a nail technician, um, and the reason is because I have gone to many of nail salons. Putting the gel on was great. Putting the dip on was great. But there's been too many times where they have filed my nails, my nail bed down so low that they've actually cut into the meat of the nail bed. Or nipped, you know, a lot of the cuticles to where they would bleed and be sore and I'd get an infection. You know, I'm putting gloves on and off every day for 8 to 10 hours a day. So, this one particular time I went down and, like I said, they had filed. I kept telling them, you know, it's feeling hot. They kept going. So, anyway, that could have been my own fault. I should have maybe just jerked my hand away. I don't know. But, anyway, that being said, I got tired of it. Had to go to the doctor, get antibiotics, let my nail grow out. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, my best friend says, why don't you learn to do it yourself? You can't do any worse of a job than they do, and you're saving yourself anywhere from $45 to $65. Good idea. Okay. So, I got online on YouTube and started looking for stuff um, on how to do it and what I needed to do it. So I've been doing my own nails now for about three years. And let me tell you, when I first started it, I was messing up. I thought I had the right products to take it off and how I was supposed to take it off. And I was still messing up my nails a little bit, but not like they were. Um, it took a while for my nails to actually get the thickness back to them because they were so thin. Um, so I found a couple of people that I really enjoy watching their, their videos and they are nail technicians and nail technician educators. So I watched there. So I've learned from them how to do mine and how to experiment um, with different nail polishes, different dips, techniques. And let me tell you, it is really hard when you're doing your own nails. You're probably your worst critic and I had to learn to get the right stuff. And with doing that, um, I had to learn what stuff to get, what stuff would work and what stuff wouldn't. So I found certain ones, certain brands that I do like and other ones aren't so bad. But anyway, this is... Um, so I'm going to be doing little videos on how to do nails. Again, I am not a nail technician, but BB will be going to school to do that. Um, so let me just show you a little bit of stuff that I, I have learned that I do, that you do need to do your own nails and the right stuff. Um, cause BB has been dipping into a whole lot of different stuff, you know, <clears throat> Um, let me see, like acrylic nails, you know, how to do them, poly gel nails, how to do those. So I have my likes and my dislikes and I'm still learning. So, um, like trying to come up with designs for like the different holidays or just a different occasion. Um, I'm already a creative person. 
So there's a lot of little hidden talents that nobody knows I have. <laughs> so, but anyhow, let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff that I did get. Um, more of it's now newer than when I first started. All right. Now here's some of the stuff that I have bought and I do use frequently. Okay. It's probably not top of the line, but it works for me. Okay. I have this right here. This little gadget right here is my very first UV and LED nail lamp. I think I spent $10 on Wish for that. Um, let me turn this camera around. So bear with me, guys. I'm not the cameraman here. But here's some of my practice hands that I use to work with. And I still do regular nail polish. Oh, my different brushes. And files. And that was another thing. I had to learn how to buy the right files and learn how to use them properly. <sighs> That's why I thank God for those of you that are nail technicians out there that are willing to give up your secrets and techniques for us people who don't have that education. So here's all of BB's goodies here. It's a hot mess, and you'll have to excuse my room. I do have the nail drill. My uh, sister gave me that. My niece was going to get into being a nail technician and then changed her mind. So, and then I have the barbicide so I can clean all my nail bits properly. More nail polish. Well, y'all don't worry about my vitamins. And then I'm also, like I said, I'm getting into a little bit of everything these days. Nail stamping. That's all my stuff to learn how to do that. Um, let me see. This is where, it's the craziest thing, and it was one of the nail, edu nail technician educators that said we could use a Jewelry cleaner to clean our bits properly to have them sterilized and then rinsed. And this is a jewelry cleaner. That's a sonic cleaner. So it works great. Um, and here is just like, as I was saying, things that I come up with for like the holidays, a special occasion. So... That gives me an idea of something I want to do for like Christmas. So, but this is my little chill, as I call my little chill out room here. And craft room, as you can see, my wreath I've or garland I've been working on. And BB also does woodworking. So, but I had to buy a <laughs> new nail lamp. Because that one I used a lot. A lot. That was the best little $10 I ever spent. Um, I also learned how to make my own nail cleaner. Learned how to buy the right acetone. How to use nail uh, cuticle oil. Let's see if I can put it down here. Sorry guys, I'm trying. Okay, um, and how to use it properly, and then buying the right bits. All right, so buying my right bits, and there are ones that I really, really love, and a lot of them that I have been buying, you'll have to excuse my lamp, it's a little dusty, I haven't dusted it yet. Um, from the nail hub, she has awesome bits there and explains what they're used for. And these lovely beauties. 
Okay, these are used to take your nail polish off once they start after you soak them as I am right now, right there. Um, BB's going to attempt to do her first acrylic nail and I am going to try doing it on what they now call a form. So, just bear with me guys. Um, but again, it's been a learning process. And for me, it's been a good one. All right, so as I was showing you, I was getting ready to take a, I had filed down my nails or a nail. Let me see if I can get this thing to work properly here to where y'all can see it. And again, I'm sorry, I'm not the cameraman here. I'm trying to do this on my own today. All right. These little lovelies, what I was explaining to you is used to help loosen up your nail polish and gel, well, your gel. And the only reason I'm taking this one off is, like I said, I want to practice with my acrylic. Okay, so I think I need a little bit more time with some acetone soak in the nail. All right, so let's give it a little bit more time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get a little damp right there. I'm gonna stick it on my nail. We're gonna fold this. Well, how did I do this the last time? It takes practice, let me tell you. This isn't as easy as it looks. It took me forever to learn how to do this stuff the proper way. And I'm praying to God that I am doing that proper way. This part I think I am. I've been watching plenty of videos on how to take that off. So, All right. So, wow, it looks pretty good. Um, but I also had to learn how to use these properly because, buddy, I was scraping right down into my nail bed. I honestly appreciate the people that do this for a living because it does take technique and dedication to do this. This is a skill that <clears throat> a lot of people, myself included, is learning. You just don't learn this overnight. All right, so it looks like it's off. Whew, that's good. It's the weirdest feeling, too, when you take it off. Because as you can see, I've... Oh, let me get this. Try to get this camera this way. I've done these nails here. And I like the color of it. It's just I want to play with this one today. So not only do I use my dummy hands, I use my hands too. <laughs> and don't be surprised if you hear me get frustrated in my voice because you probably are not going to see me in the video. I got to work on how to do that. So just bear with me, folks. All right, here's my little file here. Do a nice light file. Because I am going to try to do my own acrylic nail today. And the only reason I'm doing it just for this nail is because it's so short. Compared to all my other nails. You so as I was saying, and I'm sh sorry that I'm long-winded with this video. I do apologize. Um, but that's one of the reasons I started to do my own nails. Like I said, I am not a licensed nail technician. I do this because this is, I, I like my nails done. I am in the medical profession and even when we are off and about, 
off doing things, I still want my hands to look good. Um, having your nails done isn't that it's expensive, but for some people like me who um, are in the water all the time, alcohol prep all the time, um, you got to be careful with what you use and, and how you take care of your hands and your nails. So with that, I did what my best friend said. I learned how. Again, I did make mistakes with learning how to take off my nail polish because I was just putting a dab blame <laughs> cotton ball with acetone on it. And, you know, it had oil in it. Well, I thought that was going to be good. Um, I wasn't, I had to learn, I learned that you just, you have to clean the nail bed after you do all that. Um, with what we call a nail cleaner, which is this, it's acetone and alcohol. So, um, and this, I learned how to make it myself. Um, I think it was through the nail hub. Um, she had a video on there about that. Her name is Liz. Um, and the other one that I like to watch a lot is Susie from Nail Education. Um, so they're very helpful. If you have questions, they'll answer you. Um, they show a lot of techniques and um, helpful hints and the proper way of taking care of your, your nails without damaging them, explaining the different parts of your nails because I didn't realize there was that many parts and what could be damaged and what couldn't be damaged. So with that being said, I have learned a lot. Um, I will tell you I'm not the greatest, but I am getting better. I feel that I'm getting better. Um, so I just thought maybe doing some of these videos might help somebody else. I know them, they helped me out a lot, uh, tremendously a lot and learning how to use one product with another product and if it doesn't come out right it could be because of a blending issue or a chemical issue um so yeah um i do have favorite ones that i will when i start doing the videos i'll show you which ones i like um so and i'm still learning how to do like nail dips um trust me bb is not very accurate with that but practice makes perfect. Um, but again, I am going to go to school to become a nail technician. If anything, it's to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly and right. It, this way, if I am messing up, there's someone there to say, hey, don't do that. Um, so I hope this stuff, these videos will help everybody. And and maybe it'll help you get a little more creative with doing your own nails. You know, not just the old plain Jane, just throw on the nail gel and go. Um, I've been getting pretty creative. <laughs> sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But nonetheless, um, I hope you guys will enjoy these videos. And until then, take care, be safe, and see ya.